Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a big solar panel, clearly in my back garden, inclined at an angle to the sun. It's a 420 watt panel. At the moment, it's kind of dirty, and you'll see up here, it's completely stoved in. I got these very, very cheap, all of them, because, uh, because they're damaged. But I wanted to do an experiment today with this fellow here. This is the uh, All Powers portable power station, All Powers model R600. And you can put in from solar 12 to 60 volts. And I have a feeling this panel is putting out about 30 volts or something, 35 maybe. So that's ideal here, 220 watt max. Now, 420 watt panel, but it's broken, so it doesn't put out the full capacity. Let's have a look here, if I can turn this on. It's at 59% and it's putting out 135 watts. You can see that plummeting, it was, it was at 200 watts and it should come up again because I can feel the sun coming out just now. I've seen it do 220. I wonder is that the machine limiting itself? I haven't seen it go any higher as an input, but I'm not expecting much. The all powers power station that I got came with this solar panel. That's a 100 watt panel and it charges, it charges just fine, but it'll do up to 100 watts. Whereas here, if I get the light back on, well, we're at 217, 218 right now difficult to see come on go over 220 there and see what we can do it's kind of stuck at 219 i think it's being limited by the machine itself but i don't know it says 42 minutes to full charge so i was given this by all powers and there'll be a link below if you want to get one yourself but i wanted to check it on a on a regular solar panel now if it's going to be limited to 220 that's what it's going to be limited to but you could try it on a on a smaller panel as well over here separately i've got three panels in a string these are about 500 watts or something like that. I wonder, can I have a look behind and see? Yeah, so those two are 500 watts, but you can see they're particularly damaged with uh, stone damage or something, but they were brand new when I got them and I didn't pay much for them, but how they get like that, I don't know. Damaged in transport or at the factory or something. And this one is the same as that one. I've got them wired up to a solace on a kind of a portable supply. And right now it's generating and we're getting 44 watts. That was up around 500 watts a few minutes ago. It's going up again, 67. We are we're just behind the cloud. Let's wait a minute. So the sun's coming out and I'm standing in front of the panel blocking it and it's going up 311, 310. It's hovering around that. But I'm putting the panel in shade to make that happen. The point of this video, is, well, there's two parts. One is, will this machine work with a broken old panel? And it does. And there's a bit more sun there, 212, 222, 225. I don't know if you can see that 223 so it does seem to be kind of stuck around that and the other point of the video is to highlight that these are three broken panels i paid a tenner each for them this is the solace inverter that i got as scrap and i had to put two new relays in it i think out of four and i've been testing it i bought that as scrap for 20 quid so this is 50 quid here and that piece of wire that go into the plug is from a washing machine so that's just a salvaged piece of wire there's no extra solar cable or anything like that. I've got it so tight that with the cables the way they're arranged, they'll feed this machine just as it is. I don't have any extra wiring done other than plug and play MC4 connectors like this. So if you had some kind of a frame in your garden, and by a frame, I mean two pieces of horizontal wood with screws holding these guys on, you could have those mounted 30 quid, 20 quid nailed to the back or just hanging loose with the wire going through. And you can get this thing, it's a bit more sun there now. What's it doing? 469 gone down to 330 155 that's how, how quickly the sun changes here 455 that's less than the capacity of one of the panels but the panels are completely smashed so they're going to be restricted and they're also got those two 500 watt panels they'll be choked by the lower voltage panel so one will be choking the other a little bit although they might be just right but again this one's broken down here and they're also filthy they're covered in dust because they were in storage i haven't even bothered to clean them i don't know if you can see that there but there's a sheen on that one Right here, we've gone from 225 down to 38. That's the nature of the sun. But this machine is charging and I'm quite happy with it. This machine does all right, you know. It's a 600 watt machine, which is lower than I would like. A 2000 watt machine would be ideal. And the capacity is, I, say, I think, 0.6 of a kilowatt hour or something like that. Let's have a look on the bottom. 299 is half of what I said. So it's about a third of a kilowatt hour, probably less in practice. So you won't boil a kettle on it, but you can charge your phones and run something off the plugs there no problem and i've used it recently to run a dehumidifier off the 12 volt supply to test that so it does all sorts of things it also has a little light which uh, on a day like today is somewhat useless but there you go usb-c outputs as well they're quite handy nowadays um, i'm not trying to sell this but there is a link below that's up to you if you want to buy one i don't know if i would buy this for the price that it's charging at 
um, online, but I would buy a bigger one if I needed it, um, maybe a two kilowatt one. So have a look at my link, I'll get some money from that if you do that. But the main point of that is, don't buy that solar panel. Well, I'll talk through it. One of these is 10 quid, one of those is 100 or some silly price like that. They're portable and they're handy, but you know, it folds up. And how portable is it really? Because you fold it up like this and it's got a handle on top, but it's still, what, two foot by 18 inches? Something like that, maybe a bit over that. And it's not light, it weighs a couple of kilos at least there, but it does all right. Um, it has its own legs to prop it up and I've had it working on that, it'll charge up and you know, they're still effectively new. The other downside to this I noticed, I'm giving you loads of downsides here, because like I say, I'm not really trying to sell them. Um, there's up to 212 again, the sun's out. The other downside to this is that it self-discharges. I think you can, I can't remember, can you Bluetooth it to your phone to watch it? I don't know that you can, I can't remember if I did that or not, but if you leave it, if you just leave it, it discharges. So over a period of about three weeks or a month, it's down to zero. So you've got to keep it topped up. And especially if you leave it down to zero, then you leave it somewhere cold over winter, the battery will just die and you don't want that. Um, so keep an eye on them. That's the lesson I've learned. So I'll keep that somewhere safe now. Was it lithium ions or LiPo 4s? That was the other thing I wanted to check. You might have seen it before I've seen it. I'm gonna guess that it's lithium ions, but it could be LiPo 4s. Lithium iron phosphate batteries. Yeah, I don't see anything written on that. I'd have to look that up. Tell me in the comments if you know. The sun's on that and it's dirty. 216, I'm, I'm, I kind of believe that this is being limited by whatever internals are in here to protect its own charging circuit. It's probably not great to run it all day on a panel as big as this, a 420 watt panel, because it's having to throttle itself back and that in, that in itself is causing the machine to do some work. But I'll probably just leave it today to see how it charges up and see what happens. The cables aren't getting hot, <laughs> like they're proper cables that came with it that plug straight into MC4s. Yeah, it might just be right at 217 watts, I don't know. I'll leave it and see. I'm happy with it anyways as it is and the experiment seems to have worked. <laughs> The rest of this video will tell you if it's blown up but for now please leave any questions or comments below become a member of the channel if you haven't already you can do that for just a quid it keeps me going and makes me make more videos there's good sun on over here what's going on over here then 550 watts before i stood in front of it it's good to experiment with these things i like playing with stuff and these panels have been idling we need to get them we need to get them nailed up somewhere become a member if you haven't already or just subscribe and uh, give us a like i'd appreciate that comments are welcome and if you're thinking about buying one of these check out my link but don't necessarily buy this one that's up to you the other one is to have a look in the amazon link below if you buy something through amazon i'll get a cut of that either way i'm just fishing for dollars here but uh, you know how the game goes thanks for watching see you later